And how frustrating is it to try and grow tomatoes at home? Yes, we're going to go through what has happened in this video. We were going so well. Ah, such a fail. Well, overnight we've had a complete disaster just as I was going to do a harvest video on the tomatoes. Something overnight has completely trashed the plants. I'm guessing a possum or maybe a rat. I don't know. That's more rat damage, I think. I did have one photo from a couple of days ago of what the tomatoes looked like. That's obviously on screen before something overnight has completely... Yeah, that's eaten way too much. Look at that. That was potentially a tomato and that, and they have trashed the plant. So I'm thinking maybe a possum, maybe, as opposed to a rat. Unless we've got a rat the size of a freaking car. Yeah, there's no rat poo, there's no possum poo. There's just missing tomatoes, which kind of sucks. Anyway, yes, <laughs> here is an update on tomatoes and what we're going to do with the tomatoes. So these are obviously all hydroponics and the water pumps through. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check them out and it'll show you how the system works and stuff been working really really well the only problem I've had is I put the roof on and should have made the roof a lot higher but didn't so they've all been sticking out the sides and that and it's been going really well for like the last what five six weeks and then overnight carnage ah so frustrating yeah so these are technically Roma tomatoes or were there's one there that's probably not going to survive tonight Maybe I'll put some rat deterrent or something down. I need some cats. Maybe I'll put a big python there. <laughs> but apart from that problem, we do have mites on our other plants. Yeah, isn't that great? So spider mites. Ah, I should have brought predatory mites. I was going to, but we were getting away with it for so long. But now all these ones are completely screwed up by spider mite damage yeah so what i might do is actually move this whole system inside what yes i have a room full of snakes and yeah there are no rats in my room full of snakes for obvious reasons <laughs> they're not free range but i don't think rats like the idea of going into an area where there is a lot of predators so we're going to potentially move all this system, which means, yeah, the plants are probably going to get destroyed from moving them. I think we'll see how we go, but I think this is probably the end of this hydroponic system, which is a bit of a shame because it did work okay. Only problem is bloody predators. So apart from putting huge cages around stuff and stopping everything from getting in, then we've still got problems with mites. So yeah, this one is no mite damage whatsoever. That is starting to get the mite damage. Look at that. And I did, talking about mite damage, we had the hydroponic celery, well, aquaponic celery, because it's in the aquaponic system, noticed mites, as you can see on screen, all those little tiny wispy things that look like Oh, spider webs, but they are microscopic little mites. So I did use the microscope, looked inside, well, looked at the mites on the leaves because they're just like little tiny specks. And yes, we have mites. So I've actually moved them into the reptile room. I sprayed them with reptile mite spray. <laughs> so much for organic with these, but I'm just over the little buggers. Yeah, I think I will buy predatory mites, but by the time you get the predatory mites, all the mites have wiped out your plants. So it's just that annoying, well, what do you do type thing. But anyway, after all that, I put them outside in the rain and look what happens. Yeah, they have completely turned to crap. So I don't know if they're gonna perk up or not. They may perk up, I've only just put them back here you know, they've been in the rain for a couple of days because, again, we've had stupid rain. Oh, it's really hard to say if they're going to perk up or not. All to do with just mites. Look at that. Complete, absolute carnage. 
ah, oh, so frustrating when everything goes well and then something silly happens like mites or some freaking animal wipes out all your plants. <laughs> well, this is one of the many problems with trying to grow stuff at home. You can only learn from this, which, you know, you have, oh, we've got five weeks, six weeks, and it's almost harvesting. And then, yeah, the rats are probably just sitting there or a giant possum. I don't even know what did that. I would say it was a rat, but it could have been a possum and rats. Yeah, we're left with just sad little tomatoes now and one's up oh wait look at that okay that's a mouse or rat bite yeah that's not a possum possum would have eaten the whole thing so let's say rats what a shame what an annoying shame and the funny thing is they've gone for the ripe tomatoes not really the green ones well apart from that one because whatever rat ate that or mouse it's just stupid what a pain Oh well, I'm sure there's some plants or something I can plant with these to deter rats or mice. Obviously not corn because <laughs> if you've seen my corn video, holy crap, the rats just came from God knows where and completely wiped out all the corn. And yeah, corn is one of the better harvests we've done because we're still learning how everything grows. But yeah, corn was insane. If you've never grown corn before, Check out my video on growing corn in the pots. It was so easy, apart from the rats, right at the end. But we did manage to harvest a fair bit of corn, but the rats harvest more corn than I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, a quick update. I would sort of probably classify this as a fail, only because of the bug incident. So I could probably do the same again with chicken wire. Do you think maybe I should just move it into the yard and do sort of like mesh around the sides of it? I don't know, comment down below. Do you think it would be better to move this whole system and the pump and everything onto the lawn? This is just my messy lawn. Like maybe move it in full sun, maybe somewhere like here, just so it gets sun and see how we go with that, with just full mesh around it. Or do you reckon I should, um, yeah, put it inside. Look at my giant piles of rubbish. I need to deal with all this sort of stuff. So those are my two options. Inside system with lights or outside on the lawn with mesh. I'm thinking more inside system with lights because I can just, yeah, it's a little bit easier for me to do because I don't have any mesh and I have to buy mesh and all that rubbish. And by the time you get mesh, zip tie all the mesh on, it's a pain where I could just, yeah, redo it inside. Anyway, comment down below what you reckon was a better idea. Inside aquaponics, well, hydroponics. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. Okay, yeah, there you go. There is absolute carnage and there is the evidence. That is a rat poo little buggers oh my god so that is why there is no fruit apart from a few random ones left absolute bastards <laughs> anyway we're learning together that the wildlife well the non-wild native wildlife are absolute little bastards i probably said the word bastard about 50 times in this video but it's just frustrating isn't it Oh well, round two will be the probably in the next few videos, but comment down below on the lawn with cage around it or inside undercover. Can't really do both, but we'll figure that one out. Or maybe I can, maybe I can put these inside with lights on top and that out on the lawn. Don't know. Oh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, see you in the next video. Comment down below, tell me the ideal. We'll see you then. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff.